Man. I just wish I could slap the bass like Paul Rudd. But I can't. No one can. If only there was something that can make my dreams come true to slap bass like Paul Rudd. Oh, what do we have here? The gin in bass. I think that this will at least let me program bass like Paul Rudd would slap. We can only hope. <laughs> All right, all jokes aside, Paul Rudd's the homie, but this bass will make you slap bass better than Paul Rudd. So let's dive right in. First thing that I did was I went over here, checked this out, checked out all the articulations, changed my tuning to what I actually would have my bass in, which uh, is in drop G for, uh, for this piece as well. Instead of having to hop back and forth between this menu constantly to make sure I'm programming the right thing, I actually just printed it all out. So you might want to do that too when you first start working with it uh, until you start to recognize the tendencies and get used to the workflow of it. So, and another thing too to note is, because in this piece, I just, you know, I wanted to showcase everything it can do. But if you want to switch back and forth between picking your fingers, if you actually want to switch between the two, you have to tell it to learn a CC. So I just made it 20 uh, cause that's what an undefined one. So I just made, so essentially the way you would do that is you would just program an automation on that CC, uh, within your DAW hit learn, and then just let it play. And then the instrument will learn that command. Then you can just change back and forth whenever you want. That's what this is down here for me Un undefined 20, this little blip. So later over here a little bit, it's when it switches back. See that's so fingers pick all slap and then riffs and stuff like that. Another thing too that I did with this was I used just the DI and then mixed it myself. And one of my favorite things about this was the fact that you can force it to pick play a certain note on a specific string. Cause you know, this note up here is gonna sound very different than this one. Even though it's the same exact, same exact note, literally the same note. But let's hear this now drastically different it sounds because the thickness of the string, you know, you're changing the length of it entirely. So uh, you might not necessarily always want it to sound, you know, super bright and pingy like that all the time. So that's a very important uh, thing to pay attention to. So what that all looks like is if, so if I go down here to my MIDI again, so what we got up here is all of the forced string articulations and over here down here at the bottom all of these are like your pick uh or dead notes slap if you want to set dead note with the slap or not like all all of those kind of articulations are down here at the bottom underneath everything and then all of this is the actual bass notes and stuff etc and then I got 
got rid of that. Post fader ox fun I was doing. So this is what it'll sound like. So that's just what the raw DI sounds like, what I'm what I'm mixing in here. And then I just have you know processing each or the way this is being done is in pro uh, it's processing each of the different uh, spectra of the bass on its own track. So I essentially have it. It's pretty overkill the way I'm doing it, but I run all of my instruments on uh, a different computer in v Vienna Ensemble Pro. So it's coming out of this uh, Windows computer. So it's hosted here on its own, coming out of the second output of Vienna in 3 and 4. And then back in the Pro Tools over here, see Gen Base 2, 3, and 4. It's looking at the out of that plugin. And then this spits out of a bus. Uh, the instrument's stereo, but it's just, you know, bass is, you know, typically mixed in mono. So I just spit it out of one, uh, spit it out of there. And then all of these are looking at the left input. And that gives me this sound. <laughs> I like it. I think it sounds pretty dope. But also the plugin too has its own uh, stuff internally that you could also use. Let me show you what those sound like real quick. So instead of, um, so that's just DI, you go to grit, distortion. It's got a little mixer and you can mess with all of this kind of stuff. Yeah, pretty versatile. Who? Teehee. Everyone likes, can't not have a girthy bass. But so yeah, as you can see, you know, insane amount of options with this thing. And down here too, this humanized thing. I have it, you know, turned up because uh, I want it, you know, to sound at least a re little realistic, but you can make it. Ah! I didn't fucking notice that before. <laughs> Rude. <You> can literally <laughs> machine, human, or a bassist. <laughs> Oh, that's great. I'm assuming the doom button too just makes it sound more like Mick Gordon, if I'm gonna have to guess. Let's see what that sounds like without uh any of my stuff. Subtle. Could make a difference though, if that's what you're going for for sure. Like I said more options the better. I'm probably going to be using this thing a lot. I'm honestly very, very, very impressed with it. Yeah, it's dope. I'm very happy with it. And yeah, if you suck at bass, you can't slap bass like Paul Rudd. Any of that stuff, you should, uh, you know, get this thing going. A couple other things that I used uh, for this, just real quick. So I used the new Mike Mangini kit. Four, one, two, three, four, one. So, and this thing, this thing sounds the same. You know, lots of, these toms are wild, but if we should check that out, I obviously use the best amp sim on the market right now. Nothing sounds better than this, my Mixwave amp sim. 
I'm biased. I don't care. Find one that sits better in a mix. You won't. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Lots of other stuff going on and the Vienna shit. But yeah, I would highly recommend getting Dijin in base two. And it's very versatile. It sounds great. You can do crazy stuff with it. It's got, you know, tons of options and stuff like that in there. And you can get insanely crazy meticulous with all of the MIDI if you want to. Go all the way, go all out, all over it. All your articulations down here, bass notes all up in here, and forced string uh, automation up here. And then your CC for pick versus fingers. Go, go buy it. Sick. And out now. <laughs>